Imagine this, you are listening to the news one day and the next thing the reporter says is breaking news, school shooting. You feel the pain and horror of the events as you cannot begin to picture how terrified the students were or how affected the families will be. Then you think of all the school-aged children in your life and think, well, if they were mine, they would be quick with the phone, so I could immediately pick them up if anything were to happen at school. A few moments later, the news story changes and your thoughts do as well. Voting is a right every person 18 and up possesses and an opportunity to have their voice heard. Voting is an imperative part of democracy that is both a right and a responsibility. With recently being able to vote, I thought most people voted as part of their civic duties, but I soon realized a large percentage of people who do not. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what happens when people do not vote, the importance of voting, reasons people may not vote, and how to make voting more accessible. Let's begin with what happens when people choose not to vote. Take the example of the school shooting. When, whether you think there should be harsher consequences for the shooter, or teachers should be equipped with, uh, with ammo to fight off perpetrators, the policies will not change unless you vote on any policy. Another example is the middle class American. A report by Pew Research Center says most Americans say the federal government provides too little for this segment of society. From the United States Census Bureau, in the 2020 election, the highest demographic of voters was 65 to 74 at 76% of the population of that age group. So if the older individuals who are usually wealthier have their wants and needs represented as the average Americans wants and needs, it is obvious why the middle class would not benefit. What is a vote? The Merriam-Webster dictionary definition of a vote is a usually formal expression or opinion of opinion or will in response to a proposed decision. The right to vote has been something Americans have fought for since the land's founding days. Born on the value of democracy, the goal of America is to be people-led. Another term for this is popular sovereignty, the idea that the government is influenced by its people. Voting is not only a right but a responsibility every American has to take part in the government system and express their belief of what the future should look like. Now that we have covered what happens when people do not vote and the importance of voting, let's discuss why people do not vote. Who are the non-voters? The factors that make up non-voters include a lower socioeconomic status, lower level of education, younger in age, unmarried, and non-homeowners. In a scholarly journal by Nanzmina et al., Research was conducted to compare sample groups sense level of sense level of sense of civic duty and responsibility in correlation to their voting behaviors. Their research found that people with urban backgrounds, males, educated people, professionals people who speak English very well, higher income people, and upper, upper caste individuals tend to have a higher sense of civic duty, which therefore influences their be voting behaviors. In an article by Montanero, the 2020 presidential election showed record turnout with more voters voting than in the last 120 years. Despite this fact, a third of registered voters did not vote, which accumulates to 80 million people. The two most popular reasons were, one, my vote doesn't count, which was stemmed from feelings of suppression by the state's color. Two, was not having enough time or access to get to the polling place, stemming from the election day being a Tuesday and that year's that year being a pandemic year. 
So if we think about the presidential election and how 80 million people did not vote, the feeling of being suppressed by your state's color could have been shifted or invalid if those 80 million people did use their vote. Voting should not be reserved for people who have access and time and ability to do so. So we will talk about the solutions to make voting more accessible. Mail-in voting is a strategy that allows all Americans the right to vote. <clears throat> because of the coronavirus, more states have allowed this as a reason of staying safe from germs. According to New York Times writers, nine states mailed ballots to voters regardless of request. 34 states required the request and only seven states required an excuse beyond the coronavirus. A suggestion I found in an article by Norman Ornstein was to change election day to accommodate the contemporary American lifestyle and allow for a 24 hour period between Saturday and Sunday to make voting more accessible for all working class Americans as well as the other path. Voting is a right every person 18 and up possesses and an opportunity to have their voices heard. We have discussed the reasons, when what happens when people do not vote, the importance of voting, reasons people may not vote, and how to make voting more accessible. So the next time the election day comes, really consider voting.